Okay, we're working on a 2005 Monte Carlo. I already kind of pulled the uh, front trim and the glass that was broke off in it. And cut this off at a salvage yard. Just going to show you guys how to basically put it in. We'll start detaching all the rivets and everything to it. Just taking the centerpiece out and putting it in the car. Hope you enjoy. I'm just using a glass removal tool. It's a 90 degree angled tool and cutting the uh, the rubber and the glue and the glass that was left on there when I got it out of the, the salvage yard. I only paid about $60 for this roof. So you can pick them up, have them cut them off. They're anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks. Now here I'm just using an angle headed die grinder a 90 degree one uh, to, to get some of that extra glue out of there and see the uh, rivets where they spot welded it uh, they're not really rivets but uh, the spot welds so I took a screwdriver here and I start basically just cleaning out uh, some more of that glue because uh, it's kind of thick it's almost like a, a clay uh, type of uh, rubber or something but I uh, just cleaned it out. Up here it was a little bit more like uh, a foam. As you can see here I'm taking out a, a pick and I'm going down the whole track. There's uh, where the metal separates down in that groove. There's a, another groove and I just went down that with a pick and a screwdriver and cleaned it all out. Now I didn't blow it off because I didn't want glass scratching my paint job. Uh, the paint was pretty good on this, this roof. So I just blew it off with my mouth. I wouldn't use air on it until you get the majority of stuff off of it, just for a safety precaution. And as you can see, you want to expose those, those spot welds. And that's what I was doing there. So I'm doing the other side the same way. Uh, it takes a little while to get all the good stuff off, but uh, it'll expose it. And you gotta go around those corners real good. Uh, they put a lot of stuff in those corners, so you'll see that when you get to that point. It's got a little close up there. Ooh, Captain and Orange! Yeah, Captain and Orange! Jesus, it's Captain and Orange! Hey, here, 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 here. No, pay no attention to that guy there. He uh, he gets has a little too much fun sometimes when he's working. But uh, I got back to work as a little bit soon after, and then uh, well, I started feeling that cappy tone, and uh, yep, yeah, there he is, acting like an idiot. So oh, yeah, that's when he's good on it, and uh, starts acting real stupid. So never hang out with your girlfriend that that causes oh see she's handing more to him that's how you get stupid so anyways I got back to cutting that up and cleaning it out some more just gonna show you what it looks like now you're gonna have to clean it a lot better than that because you're gonna be spot welding but you get the gist of getting it pretty clean at this point so after that I just cleaned it with a a rag uh, down in there and try to wipe out as much as the debris I could get. We're going to drill out the spot welds. As you can see here, 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 and here, and here, and here, and here, there's spot welds. So what we're going to do first is we're going to drill a hole right in the middle of it. And I'll show you what those holes look like. They're actually little divots, as you can see there. Right in the middle of that divot, you're going to drill a hole in it first. So I'm going to back you back out. And you're going to see how I'm going to do that. Show you some of the tools that I've got here. They're not very expensive. I bought this uh, pack of 330 seconds. Gives you seven drill bits. They're 330 seconds. They're titanium nitride. Nitride. They're not really expensive. I bought them at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, it wasn't that expensive. I think I bought it all for under 10 bucks. And then I also bought the uh, the double-sided rotary spot weld cutter. 
so you can get those. I bought two of those. Uh, I've only, I think, broken one, but I've already cut one top off, so I'm cutting another one off. Just gonna put the drill bit in the uh, drill itself. You get two cutters on the reversible cutter. It's reversible at the tip. Well, like I said, I think it's around under 10 bucks. You can get these and uh, you can do the job. You got a drill, you got it good to go. You can use air if you want. I think I used air on the last one. Bottom line is we're just gonna go where there's a, a debit, a drill. push real hard As a matter of fact I wouldn't push real hard and I wouldn't turn your drill up real fast it's up to you but I drill slower seems to cut better keeps the drill a bit cooler and it does the job you don't have to push real hard you don't need to really ham it up all you need to do is just cut the hole Start out slow. Be careful. Get as close to the center of that debit as you can. Now I'm going to speed it up a little bit so you ain't too bored, but I guarantee you everybody's going to try to uh, speed it up and drill fast. It's up to you, but you will burn up your drill bits if you're going to do it that way. Be patient. See, they didn't put a spot well from here down to there. They put one button. Looks like they skipped a few. But sometimes it's cool. They do that because they probably can't get the arms back there to spot weld in a certain spot because of the side panels of the, of the car. So, not a big deal. You'll see some of them have a space. Okay, got them all done on this side. Be prepared. You got to go all the way around. Drill them all out first. Okay, as you're drilling, you'll sometimes lose where the holes are find them all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook this one up. I'm going to go ahead and just clean the surface. You need to clean the surface on the edges that you can get to anyways. Don't mess up your paint job. Just using a, a sanding disc. Just a little sanding disc. That'll sand it down. You need to sand it anyways because you're going to re-spot weld it and it needs to be clean metal. So it won't hurt you to clean it up anyway. As you'll see later, I wish I did. Now that we got that cleaned up, we can see where all the spot welds are perfectly. Now you can't do up in between here and here with this until you get the, the top off. But going to have to do the other side as well. It's harder to see these spot welds down here for some reason. I don't know if it's just paint or what, but that worked out really well. We'll go back to drill. We know where our holes are. And you'll find out that you missed a few or there's metal overlapping others when you're using the cutter. So 